This school of late has started reeking. Quiet maggots when I'm speaking! Reeking with a most disturbing scent. Only the finest nostrils smell it, but I know it oh too well. It is the odor of rebellion. It's the bouquet of dissent. And you may bet your britches this headmistress finds this foul odoriferousness wholly olfactorily insulting. And so to stop the stenches fed, I find a session of fizz ed. Sorts the merely rank from the revolting. The smell of rebellion comes out in the sweat, and Fizzed will get you sweating. And it won't be long before I smell the pong of aiding and abetting. A bit of his head will tell us who has a head full of rebellious thoughts. Hold, hold, just like a rotten egg floats to the top of a bucket of water. The smell of rebellion, the stench of revolt, the reek of insubordination, the filth of resistance, the pong of dissent, the funk of mutiny in action. For a reed becomes too big and greedy, you really need to nip it in the bud. Position two. Before the worm starts to turn, you must scrape off the dirt and rip it from the mud. The whiff of insurgents, the stench of intent, the reek of prepubescent protest, the pong of defiance, the odor of coup, the waft of anarchy in progress. Once we've exercised these demons, they shall be too pooped for scheming. Some double time discipline should stop the rot from setting in. All right, let's step it up. Double time. One, two, three, four. Discipline, discipline for children who aren't listening, for midgets who are fidgeting or whispering in history. They're chattering and chittering, they're nattering and twittering is tempered with a smattering of discipline. We must begin insisting on rigidity and discipline Persistently desisting this anarchistic mischieving These minutes you are frittering, are pandering and pitying While little ends like this, they're just one discipline The simpering and whimpering, the dribbling, the spittling The miss I need, it's issue, it's an issue we can fix There is no mystery to mastering the art of far from mistressing It's discipline, discipline The smell of rebellion, the stench of revolt The reek of a repubescent plotting The whip of resistance, the pong of dissent The funk of moral fiber Imagine a world with no children. Close your eyes and just dream. Imagine, come on, try it. The peace and the quiet, a burbling stream. <laughs> now imagine a woods with a cottage. And inside that cottage we find a dwarf called Zeke. Carnival freak who can fold paper hats with his mind, and he says, "Don't let them steal your horses. Don't let them throw them away. No, no, no. If you find your way through, they'll be waiting for you, singing. No, no. She's mad." <laughs> And there, just like I said, the stinky maggot rears his head. Even the squittiest, piteous nest can harbour seeds of stinkiness. Have you ever seen anything more repellent? Have you ever smelled anything worse than that smell of rebellion? The stench of rebellion. Sickening stay.